So in another example of Trump's America, a Latino man and his mother, uh, who were doing uh, yard work in California, were approached by a woman uh, who then began hurling slurs towards him. Uh, they called him uh, illegals, uh, first of all, rapists uh, in this viral video um, that has been going all over social media. Uh, now, the man in the video is Esteban Guzman. Now, he's a 27-year-old systems administrator who also does landscaping part-time. Uh, now, he went on uh, CNN uh, to talk about this uh, encounter, and I'm going to show you uh, the video of the encounter, and we'll break it down. I don't know why you hate us. Why do you hate us? Because we're Mexicans? We're honest people right here. <laughs> Rapists? How many people have I raped? How many people? How many drugs have I dealt? Huh? Oh yeah? You believe everything you see on the news? You see how we're working hard right here? We're also pulling it in everybody else's yard. No, She's dígale, like, ella está viendo, She's dígale, like, dígale, oh, look, we, look, here. dígale, we, ya vio que acabamos, no, dígale, ya, She's dígale, tú viste... I know there's only one word for that person. That's deplorable. I know, right? Uh, now, look, here's the thing. Guzman, Guzman was born and raised in the Lake Arrowhead region of Southern California. He's an American citizen. There's nothing illegal about him. But that didn't stop this lady from basically coming up and saying, oh, go back to Mexico, go back to Mexico. But he's, their family are, are citizens. <laughs> They're, they live here. But notice what she used. She used the defense, right, uh, of, hey, the president of the United States says that you're rapists. That's how far we've fallen. That, that's the level that we have gone to here in the United States now. When the president says, well, these people are rapists, and then people believe him. We all know Trump is a, an incredible liar. He's pathological. But his followers, they don't. And by the way, um, these are the same people that talked about civility when it came to someone politely asking uh, Sarah Huckabee Sanders to leave a restaurant. These are the same people like, why are you so, why are liberals so uncivil to us? That's because you go out and do shit like this. No, but no, Trump supporters, we're not racist at all. What are you talking about? No, no, no. You liberals, you're snowflakes. How dare you be so uncivil to all of us? You want to, you want to talk about civil? You want to talk about what's civil? How is finding somebody who's Latino and without even knowing them, walking up to them and saying, you're illegal, go back to Mexico. <laughs> Whatever happened to, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. And that was your generation that came up with it. Well, if that was true, then this lady would have shut the fuck up. Instead, she goes on a racist rant and is ignorant at best. At best. But look, it was like I said before. Uh, Trump does enable this behavior to be open. But make no mistake, this attitude was always there. This is the true face of these people. They hide it when they go to church every Sunday. But then when they see somebody they don't like, then it comes out. Then they reveal their true face. And now they don't even care if they get videotaped doing it. That's where we're at here. This is who they are in all of their ugliness. Trump did not create this. But he and the GOP, they do feed off of it. Their base is highly motivated by it. That's what you have to understand, right? You can't solve this by being nice. You can't solve this with civility. You can't, you can't solve this. You can't solve it by giving a platform to their ideas. What we need to do, we need to make racists afraid again. Now, I'm not talking doing physical violence. No, that's what they do. They do physical violence. They do threats and intimidation. What we do is we call them out and we shame them. We make them feel bad for showing their face. For saying the things that they say. We do civil disobedience. And most importantly, we vote. And our votes will always, if we actually get out there, 
we outnumber them. This is a tiny slice of people, of, of horrible people who have been emboldened. We can shut them up by using our collective voice. So when they speak and they say something horrific, we can tell them, hell no, not in our America. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.